This is round 3 of the elimination event and I lost the die roll. You can see there's a current bug here but besides that, everything's fine. This hand is okay, I have one thread, I have two scries, so I'm going to keep it. This is not a racing hand so I need to find some sort of um, persistent thread, and preferably a um... Hmm. Actually, young or phoenix would be not bad in the British situation. Okay, he's playing black, here comes the Fortis. And so we trade two life for two life. Unless he takes the chain rocks, of course. Yep, you have to do that. I always be a waste of a chain on Fortis. Wow. It's not looking too good so far. I'll make it ch challenging for him to use another Fortis. But I don't think he'll use these anyway because the Tertiary doesn't call for it, so he's probably gonna just pass the turn. Alright, he gave me a free attack. I'll take it. That's my friend. But I don't actually want a fret right now, I actually need more controlling spells. I will lose the Phoenix, I know that for a fact, but I'll do it anyway. Just to get rid of some of his removal spells. If I'm lucky, I can eat a um, devour flesh. Hero's downfall. He took two damage for that. So he misclicked. Good for me. Desecrating demon. I can't deal with. Sadly, chain it's not good enough. I need to get chain rocks. I can't even race him really. I just have to get rid. Of, um, I need to get rid of it somehow. Use another one. I'm just completely screwed. Yeah, um... Odds of me winning this have decreased dramatically. It's still possible, I need to hit a chain of rocks, take away his desecrating demon, use the phoenix, and sacrifice him to the up. Okay, I can't use those cards. If I don't get a chain next turn, I'm going to concede. Okay. Come on, chains! And GG, he got me. Okay, well, um, Banishing Lights and Searing Blood it is. I can go for Total Trouble Plan as well, but, um, when I am on the draw, um, it doesn't seem so bad. I'm not on the play, sorry. Actually, because I'm on the play, I'll go for the, um, the All In plan.
Yeah, I'm definitely going first. Uh, where is he? Definitely going first. Keeping hand. A little bit flooded, but I can punish him with uh, Mutavolt, which I like. Not playing the um, Chain Rocks early is going to be kind of weird, but I think I can afford to take one damage. Free swing it is. With some luck, I can deal um, 7 damage next turn. And I can. And I will. Also have Boris Charm ready for the following turn. If you place Pack Round, I'm just gonna race it. No plays? Alright, sure. Okay. End of turn Boris Charm. I'll do more damage now if I hit his Sin Collector with Searing Blood. But then I'll still lose a um, Boris Charm. But they can swing back with the Muta Vault, so yeah, it's worth it. I bring him down to 5 life next turn. No more than that. He needs to take the Boris Charm, yeah. He knows I have um the land in hand, so I'm not gonna hold back and not play it. Yeah, it's this turn. He knows I have chain rocks in hand as well. And he knows it's GG at this point. Okay, well I'm now on the draw, so that play is a little bit more risky since he has too many chain rocks and stuff. I will cut the um Toll and Troubles. I will bring back in the young pyromancers. I'll probably cut the ban no, I'll keep the one banch light. Here we go. I'm not sure if the four of young pyramids is better than the um 
the extra chain effects. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Okay, I have two um, threats here. That's really powerful. Keep. I have a way to scry, which is also really powerful. Now I have all my lands, so I'm basically in a perfect position right now. Obviously, I'll be more happy if I can draw chain rocks or something, but um, I'm okay with pillow of light as well. Now he's going to use either Duress, Fort Seas, or Pack Rat. I'm hoping for Pack Rat. There you go. I did not want to draw any more of these effects, and then I'll be pretty happy. Absolutely nothing. Sure. I'll just shoot you with the uh, Magma Jet then. <sighs> Searing Blood. Two Searing Bloods are pretty good. One Searing Blood. Do I have um, four Ritz? No, I don't. So I'll throw away the Searing Blood. I'll keep the Lightning Strike. I feel like I'll be regretting this choice, by the way. Last breath. I'm definitely going to use Chain Rocks here. The main reason for using Chain Rocks here is because um, um, Pill of Light hits his um, hits his Ghost Adder, which is pretty important. Do not want the land, that's a pretty strong scry. This is interesting. I can take out a land and a pack rat at the same time. And basically the plan is I go Searing Blood on this pack rat. He activates some um, two Muta Volts and I Lightning Bolt one of those Bring him down to three lands. Alright, let's activate the plan. The primary weakness of this plan is if he does not activate his Muta Volts, this is slightly frustrating. Now he's even further behind. Yeah. That was a top deck, which means he doesn't have a land, so he's still stuck on two lands. But he's not going to be playing Ghost Land anyway, so I don't really care. This does give him a free swing though, which is a little bit depressing. Nope, he's going to use Last Breath instead.
Last breath. Light bio, that's fine. There's his land. Does not have desecrating demon in hand, and we will play the array. He may have pack rat though. If he draws one more land and plays out his um, vampire, it will be in a pretty nasty race situation. Obviously, if I hit a skull crack, it'll be all fine and dandy, so we'll find out soon. I'll wait it out. Okay, waiting out was a mistake. Come to think of it, I think most decks are only playing two Blight Bottles, so yes, waiting out was definitely a mistake. I probably should have actually casted the young Prime Master last turn on my um second main step. Demon? Oh. It's a free swing. I'll take it. Don't even need to. GG.